there are certain things that resonate with us, no doubt, as we move through this time and space experience. And I would say those things that deeply resonate in our heart, those are our guidances. Those are our intuitive guidances, our higher self drawing us back up into our divinity. That's why it's important to be intuitive. I would say you could actually learn to live your life being a hundred percent intuitive. A hundred percent. People would say, well, you know, you have to be a little grounded, you have to have a little bit of yin with a little yang and you know, you've got to throw a few things in. I don't, have, have not found that to be the case. i found as I just keep being intuitive and intuitive, it's like I soar higher and higher and higher in awareness through following that intuition. That small still voice that's within all of us, that never contradicts itself, that always is gentle, it's always kind, it's always gracious, it's always loving. And then this raspy, critical voice in our minds that never has anything good to say about us. Just res, 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 just always on us, always finding what we've done wrong. Never nurturing us, always criticizing that this intuitive guidance is helping us rise above the critic, rise above the judgment. That's what makes it fun as you go higher and higher into awareness. You simply transcend, you, you don't focus your mind on the critic anymore and you focus your mind on that intuitive voice. You want it to shine through you, to extend through you. You want to teach only love for that is what you are, that's what the Course teaches. Everything to be a representation of that love. And as you do sink deeper into this presence, you start to realize that you become very, very content. In Buddhism, and a lot of traditions, contentment is, is a tremendous attribute. When you become content, you do not have expectations. You are not striving, you are not pushing, you are not trying to figure out. Like you just lean back in your mind, back to that state of perfect contentment. Let all things be exactly as they are. All things work together for good, except in the ego's judgment. You know, the, you cannot but be in the right place at the right time. Oh, thank you. That means I'll never be late again, that's right. Oh, thank you. It's so much guilt about being late. I'm glad to know I won't be. And the Spirit says, and you'll never be early either. <laughs> you just have that contentment where you just see all things working together for good. It's a cosmic dance. You're enjoying the cosmic dance. That's a very highly trained state of mind. But isn't it worth it? Can you just feel even sentimentally how wonderful that state of mind is to see the world as a dance. Thank you.